The miracle Grow I put on here did help some, but unfortunately the drought has taken its toll and a little bit of disease problems. The marigolds seem to be thriving. You can see that other cucumber, or cantaloupe, excuse me, beside that Alibaba. I'm going to have to thump that one because it's probably time to pick. There's a lot of golf carts going up and down the street down here. And we, uh, this, uh, all these cucumbers are showing their age. They have put out and produced heavily, godly, I don't know how many cucumbers we've gotten. You can see uh, the okras in there. By tomorrow I'll be able to pick probably another dozen. You can see the flowers. That cucumber is the last planted. It's still producing pretty well. I pulled all the bad out of here the other day and there's still some more bad that I got to pull out. These will produce a little bit but we're not going to get so much off of them. We got three quarters of an inch of rain last night and we got a half inch when I was down here Wednesday sometime Tuesday, not Monday night or Tuesday night and uh, we're up to three and three quarter inches I think it was what it is. The pepper plants are slowly starting to get some si size to them. That was a big deal this year and we do have a pepper growing. All these plants are shading it a little bit. We got three right there. You can see the okra is not six feet. It's up to my chin, about five foot tall. And the better boys over here are showing a lot of brown leaves down at the bottom. And we didn't get any set in fruit right in this area for a while. There's still a few down below. But see, we're getting a lot of set up here now that it's uh, cooled down. And the temperatures have become more normal. So these plants will probably end up giving me 50 tomatoes each. Easy, see all these? Most of these had 12, 12 to 20. Uh, a lot of them had between 20 and 24. And you can see that getting 50 per plant is not going to be a hard deal this year. Even with the drought. At least the irrigation helps. And I tied these up Wednesday so you can see they're still growing. And right here, you can see where I've tied these across just to get them to go left and right and go down the rows over the poles. And you can see where these have gone over that way and those have come this way. And that one right there is probably four feet more than the pole which is 84 inches. And that one's probably three feet. And the uh, these are setting up toward the top. So it's not going to be impossible to get 100 per plant off of these uh, 4th of Julys. And I picked the cherries really heavy this morning because we got all this rain. We got a half inch Wednesday and we got uh, three quarters of an inch last night during some serious thunderstorms. And uh, if you don't pick them, the smaller the tomato, the easier it is for it to split. And even the big ones will split with a whole lot of uh, extra rain. But you can see in these cherries that, you, st you know, we've already picked, Lord, easy, over 100 per plant. I mean, probably 125, 50 per plant. And just look in that picture, how many's there? And it's 11th of August. I mean, if we don't have a frost, we'll be picking these things all the way up into October. But at least they're setting up near the top. Cherries aren't affected by the drought as bad. But you tell me if that isn't a lot of tomatoes. And here's the vines that I'm going across from one to the other. And these will end up being probably 14 feet long at least. And it's a lot easier to pick them when they're just sitting right up here in front of your face.